Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello and hi Salam dari Malaysia I'm Muhammad Luqman Hakim Zaidi From MRSM Tun Gafar Baba Today, I will make a short video for all of you Regarding my science project which entitled The use of vertical axis wind turbine With wireless integrated system application What is actually a wind turbine? Wind turbine is actually a mechanical component that will rotate with the aid of the wind force and will produce electricity when it is connected with generator. Basically, if you talk about wind turbine, there are two kinds of wind turbine, which are the horizontal axis wind turbine, the one that we often see, and also the vertical axis wind turbine, the one that I implement to you today in this project. In this project, I will combine the usage of vertical axis wind turbine with a management system to collect the data of the voltage, power, and also the current produced by the wind turbine itself. In a windy day, you might feel that your wind turbine produces a lot of electrical energy. But be careful, there are high tendency of your wind turbine to get broken down. So therefore, in this project, I will make a management system to track the performance of the wind turbine itself. In this project also, I want to encourage people on using the vertical axis wind turbine because many of people still don't know the existence of this model. There is also a need to transfer the data wirelessly to make sure that the wind turbine will become independent without the usage of the human work so that the transferring of the data will be easier and less effort will be used. Malaysia also faced a small area of land for implementation of horizontal axis wind turbine. But don't worry, we can always use vertical axis wind turbine because this type of wind turbine only need lesser space compared to the horizontal axis wind turbine. This means a higher number of vertical axis wind turbine can be installed compared to the horizontal axis wind turbine in the same area. This project also will solve the problem regarding the disability of the horizontal axis wind turbine which cannot rotate with uneven airflow conditions such as what is happening in Malaysia right now. This is because the vertical axis wind turbine has omnidirectional ability which can resist the wind force from any angle. First thing first, the dimension of the product is made by using a computer software called CATIA which stands for Computer Aided 3-Dimensional Interactive Application. After that, the dimension of the product will be sent into a 3D printer to be printed out. The electronic parts such as the microcontroller and also the sensors are connected together. Then, all the printed compartments and also the electronic parts will be assembled together. Lastly, the coding is made up using Arduino IDE and uploaded into the microcontroller. Firstly, connect the wind turbine with battery. In this video, I'm using the 9V battery. This is to activate the pressure and temperature sensor, the microcontroller, and also the OLED display. Go to setting and turn on the hotspot connection to connect the phone with the wind turbine wirelessly. Once it has been connected, a pop-up will be shown up. After that, open an application called Blink. This is an example of product working. It will provide you with graph and also the value on the OLED display. You can also send the stack of data to your Gmail by clicking the icon at the bottom right corner. 
and choose export to CSV. The data will be sent into your Gmail. This project will also provide user with real-time data. For example, maybe the user wants to collect the data of the electrical production of the wind turbine from 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yes, they can do it because the data obtained is based on time. The management system also can be used by another electrical generator such as the solar panel and also water turbine. Mention the design also is quite new to people because many of people still don't know the existence of the vertical ice wind turbine or the design. This are my journey with my friends. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Terima kasih. Jumpa lagi.